Hello, it's me James and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I've basically got a bit of updated information for you guys. Some pretty huge news. That is correct. Basically, long story short, um, the Minecraft mob vote is officially cancelled. But I wouldn't say that's the most important news, believe it or not. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to drag this on at all. Let's get on to the article that was posted by Minecraft themselves. And uh, I originally saw this on, actually, Discord, but they posted it on uh, Twitter. So let me show you. Right, so this right here was the post that they posted. Uh, as we look ahead uh, to Minecraft's future, here's a glimpse of what to come. Releasing multiple free game drops throughout the year. Free game drops, I like free stuff, that is good. Changing the format for Minecraft Live and retiring... The mob vote. Dude! The mob vote is officially gone. I wonder what's to come. And bring in a native version of Minecraft to PS5, which is pretty good. Now we can jump onto this and actually look at the article in depth. There is a little bit more to it, as you can see. And we're going to go through this right now. So, this year we celebrate Minecraft's 15th birthday. We spent 15 years mining, crafting, and surviving together. But we've also spent the last 15 years evolving the cave game of 2009 into Minecraft you play today. From the addition of jungle biomes in 2012 to the trial chambers in 2024, each free update has expanded our game's blocker universe a little further. And you, our treasured community, have been with us every step of the way. Together, we've crafted a game that has stood the test of time. And we've, it actually has, and we've, and we look towards our 16th birthday and beyond. We're here to talk to you about the future of Minecraft's development, how we're working to bring you new features more regularly, and changes that we're making to Minecraft Live and more. More regular featured drops. We know that you want new Minecraft content more often, which is why we're changing our feature development rhythm. Instead of providing one free update during the summer, as we've done in the past, we'll now be releasing a number of free game drops throughout the year. The game drops will vary in size and will bring you features uh, to explore more frequently. Top I players will have spotted our first trial of these drops way back in December 2023. We have made a visual, we've made visual changes to bats, turn decorated pots into functional storage containers. Next. Next game, armored pods, which include armadillos, wolf variants, and variations, and wolf armor, and released in April 2024. And that's not all our developers will be working on. Minecraft is a game that has been growing since its first release, and now alongside these regular content drops, our developers will be focusing on long-term incentives to ensure we can continue evolve Minecraft long, long into the future. Right now, we're also working on bringing you a native version of minecraft for playstation because minecraft is better when friends can play together on whichever device they want over the coming years we also are exploring ways to improve minecraft multiplayer experience and make it easier to find and connect with friends pretty interesting pretty nice pretty cool stuff from this paragraph so far so they're working on bringing us some extra content more regularly which i think that's actually a great idea i think since they actually have started adding these things it's been more uh what's what's the word more intriguing to see because you kind of like wondering what's coming next so yeah definitely I, I like this like this a lot now it says here a new format for minecraft live we're changing the format for minecraft live and retiring the mob vote so no longer getting the mob vote to bring you something new Right, so instead of having the mob vote, they are bringing us something new. So I'm not sure what that is going to be. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, yeah, I have no idea. Maybe like a buy-in vote, something like that. Maybe, I don't know, maybe some kind of vote. Maybe they'll just won't do the vote altogether. Maybe, I don't know. There is a lot of controversy behind these votes. And since last year, um, since I'm pretty sure it did get hacked. Um... Yeah, I don't think they can allow that anymore. I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure it did get hacked last year. I've seen a lot of videos about, and I mean, who knows? Who knows if it got hacked? But literally, I don't think they want the controversy behind the mob vote anymore. So whether they're going to do a vote or not, 
have no idea. Maybe they'll do something. Be interesting to see what they will actually do. Instead of doing one show uh, per year, usually in October, Minecraft Live will now become a more focused broadcast and it will happen twice per year. So we're getting two Minecraft Lives per year. The only thing I am kind of wary about with this, I think the last Minecraft Live weren't the best. The format wasn't the best. It was very disconnected to the audience and thing. It was kind of like recorded a lot and I don't think it was the best that ever I've seen Minecraft Live. I think if it's going to be two a year, maybe they're going to be kind of going down that format, which I don't know if that's great. Um, but who knows? Yeah, two a year. Maybe it's going to be good. Maybe. I, I mean, I think it should be good. Hold on. Yeah, I just need to move very quickly before I die. Each show will be packed with everything you need to know about the latest features we're working on, what's coming into testing, and the newest news from across the Minecraft franchise. This will let us share the features we're working on with you more regularly, which is, well, you're just going to do it one more, so it's kind of more regularly, yes, by one more show. I mean, yeah, it's pretty good. Is it going to be a good format? Don't know. Not, not really sure yet. And last but no means least... We've got this little paragraph, and it says, A future shaped together. Your feedback and suggestions contribute enormously to what gets added into the game. In fact, you probably influence Minecraft's developers more than you know. Cherry Grove, which were added to Minecraft as part of the Trails and Tales update, was suggested by a community member. I mean, to be honest, yeah, I think Cherry Grove... It's not just been suggested by a single community member. I think that has been wanted for so long. It's actually unbelievable. So I mean, that's not entirely true. Uh, likewise, variations to wolves, uh, including the ability to have wolves in different skins based on biomes. Also start life and handful of community suggestions uh, on our... Yeah, so yeah, that's, that, that's definitely true. Your feedback doesn't just help inspire what goes into the game. It also helps us... Iterate, I think that's the word. It also helps us iterate on features throughout the development too. When the Armadillo was first released into testing, a lot of our community re reacted to the Armadillo visual design and provided feedback on how, how they'd like to see it improve. The Armadillo you see in the game today with its eyes firmly on the side of its head. Uh, and not on the front, was shaped by the community in the feedback. And of course, it's got some pictures of the Armadillos, as you can see which is pretty nice. These are the changes, obviously, the community wanted. Similarly, your feedback on the early designs of the wolf led to making it stronger, protecting the wolves even more throughout when their adventure with you out through the overworld. Yeah, that was a really good change. We are excited for the future of Minecraft in which we uh, get to share more features with you more regularly, in which your suggestions continue to become a reality. We hope you'll join for another 15 years. I probably will, and hopefully even more. From us here at Mojang Studios, thank you. Minecraft wouldn't be Minecraft without you. Uh, yeah, nice. So, overall, I'm thinking pretty good. I'm quite interested to see this. Getting rid of the mob vote and bringing us something new. I'm quite interested to see the new features rolling out. No date for Minecraft. Uh live this year yet so i'll keep you posted on that this was written by ryan cooper cheers ryan and uh yeah of course it would be raining and uh yeah that's all i've got time for today let me know what you think about these changes to minecraft live and uh everything i've been reading out today but i'll catch you guys on the next one bye